dolly lovers and welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reviewing these new ken fashionistas from the 2018 barbie fashionista line right in front of me i have number 16 and number 17. i'm going to go ahead and be honest i didn't buy them because i was a fan of their face mold i got them particularly for their fashions that they're wearing so i can use them on my other kins in my collection Number 16, he is actually a petite Ken, and I'm going to call him Man Bun Cactus because I'm not sure what his official name is. But I can't wait to get him out of the box and see what he's working with. This shirt was what particularly drew me to him. I'm not a fan of his face mold. Just, I'm just not a fan of the molded hair either, just to be honest. And I have number 17, and I'm going to call him California Cutie. I picked him up solely for his outfit, but he did stand out to me because he does have a beauty mark. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I am um, a huge fan of freckles, beauty marks, facial marks, anything that distinguishes the Barbie's face makes them look not so plain, plain Jane. I like something that sets them apart. So we picked up California Cutie, or I picked up California Cutie. I got both of these at my local Walmart. They were $7.94 each and I picked them up within the last week or two, and I've been dying to open them, but I wanted to wait to review them for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these boxes and see what they're both working with. I have them out of the box, and as you can plainly see, Cactus Cutie is definitely shorter than the regular can, not by a lot, but there's really small differences. I am really excited that Mattel is giving their kins different hairstyles. I just wish that they would not make them so molded. The older kins I know had rooted hair, but these dolls, it's molded, and he would look so much better. Even if this was flopped and this was real hair, his facial sculpt, again, not a fan of. I'm just not sure what they were thinking when they made this one. I mean, overall, he is cute but i'm just not a huge fan this shirt though i really really like this it is white and it has the green cactuses printed or is it cacti what's the plural of cactus it has multiple cactus <laughs> on the shirt and it velcros up the back and it also has the black stitching as a detail his jeans are fringed at the bottom again with the black stitching detail and they're kind of a faded grayish blue color. Really cute and he comes with a pair of gold Converse like tennis shoes. Now definitely a fan of this gold color. I didn't really notice it when it was in the box. I thought it was brown so I'm definitely happy to see that they are gold color. Now California Cutie is definitely a cutie. His eyebrows, his eyes, really really cute I'm not sure if Mattel has used this face sculpt before for their Ken dolls because I'm not really good with recognizing face sculpts and which Barbies or which Kens use the same one I do follow an amazing person on Instagram you can follow her at the Dalai Lama and she's really good when it comes to identifying face sculpts and comparing which Barbies Mattel has used a face sculpt for so I definitely check out her feed often when I'm looking for hey this face sculpt looks familiar I wonder where it came from anyways he is just you know molded hair once again dark brown and I wish I could give a better review but I'm not totally ecstatic by the Ken dolls I wish that Mattel would give us some articulation it's just I'm not a fan <laughs> he's like hey I'm, I'm just not a fan of at least articulation at the knees and the elbows would be nice but he does come in this pink muscle shirt with palm trees on the front that says California print on it it's with the white stitching detail and it has the velcro going up the back and he also has these would these be considered chinos? I am so not a fashionista myself. I wear the same pieces of clothing over and over again because I dress for comfortability, but would these be considered chinos <laughs> or just shorts? <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google that. But yeah, he comes with these white shorts, Velcro on the back, and then a pair of gray high top sneakers. Now, if you are into customizing your doll shoes. I can actually see these being really cute, adding some custom detailing to maybe this area and then this curved area to the side and taking your time to paint the shoelaces. These would be really nice. 
But yeah, guys, those are the two fashionistas that I picked up at my Walmart within the last couple of weeks. I'm number 16 and number 17. Another thing I like to do is look at the back of the box and see how bad my addiction really is. And that's a bad one to look at because I kind of ripped that. Oh, I ripped that one too. So this is just bad altogether. But for the 2018 Fashionista line, I am really excited with the variety that Mattel has given us. And I am shamelessly or unshamefully going to highlight which ones I have and which ones I need to get. I have several of number 79. I really, really loved her dress. I wasn't a fan of the girl herself, but the dress, oh my goodness, that dress was really, really nice. I have number 61 because she's a petite Asian and she is absolutely gorgeous in person. Number 14, I definitely need, not again for himself, but for his outfit. He comes with a pair of joggers and it doesn't look like joggers in the picture. I wasn't until I actually saw him in my local store that I recognized them as joggers. I have number 59, number 75 is on my list and for some reason she gives me major Hillary Duff vibe. I have several number 10 because my Walmart marked him down to $2 so I picked up a few so I can practice my face painting. It's coming along. <laughs> I also have number 80. I'm debating if I should get number 74 and number 76. Again, I'm not a fan, but if they marked them down, I would definitely pick them up for their outfits. We all know I got Mr. Man Bun Cactus, number 73. Oh my goodness, she is one of my absolute faves out of this entire collection. She gives me major, major JLo vibes. We have number 17, which I reviewed today. I definitely want number 70. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's the combination of the hair and the side glint she's giving me, but she is really, really cute. And I'm not a huge fan of like the Barbie face mold itself. I definitely have number 81, number eight, <laughs> number 78, number 15. I'm not a fan of him, but I really want that shirt. So once my local store walk marks him down, I'm picking him up. I don't have number 72, but I'm definitely gonna pick her up. Number Thickums, as I have definitely coined him. <laughs> He's coming to my collection soon. I definitely have number 64, she is gorgeous. Number 13, I think was one of the first ones I got out of this collection. Number 71, I have her, number 67, and number 82. So my 2018 Fashionista collection is almost complete. I am super excited with the variety that Mattel has given us with this launch of the 2018 Spring Fashionistas. And I cannot, I absolutely cannot wait for the rest of the fashionistas to be released. I mean, they're coming out with some really, really cute ones, you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this review. I definitely hope that you enjoyed it. I do apologize that I couldn't be a little bit more in depth, but I, I'm just not a big fan of their face sculpt. And I just, you know, non-articulation is just, uh, I can't do it. But their clothing, if you're looking for extra clothes for your can dolls, I definitely do recommend that you pick them up. Their clothing are really is really nice. It really is, I have to admit that. And I will pay $7.94 for a can, basically fashion pack. I'm going to either donate these to my daughter or I may actually practice my face repainting skills on them who knows but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this and if you have either one of these let me know in the comments below let me know if you like them or if you don't and what do you think mattel could have done to make these guys just a little bit more better for their adult doll collectors hey guys if you're not following me on instagram i definitely suggest that you head on over there and follow me at the dollhouse I am super active on my Instagram account. You can catch me on there every day, several times a day. It's, it's a bad addiction, I have to admit. I'm in the middle of writing an amazing photo story for adults, so if you're 18 up, I suggest that you go ahead and you know catch up on what's going on in Delicity. I'm also in the middle of writing my first photo tutorial. So if you ever wanted a behind the scenes sneak peek of how I built my dioramas, I plan on breaking it down a little bit more on my Instagram account. You can see how I build 
Barbie sized doors for my dioramas with working hinges. I go step by step on my pictures so that way you can actually work along right alongside me. So if you're on Instagram, follow me at the dollhouse and leave me a comment so you know we can start a conversation. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you can be notified every time I upload a video as soon as I upload a video. Follow me on my Instagram account at The Doll House for my daily doll postings. I'm super active over there, so feel free to start a conversation with me in the comments. And until next time, much love.